Today we will learn to work with images in Python Django web app. In the previous uh, session we had seen how to create a Python Django web app project and execute the very first web page onto the server. Today we will see how we can add the static images into our project and use those images into our web pages. So let's begin with the step number one. In step number one, we need to configure our settings.py in Django project. And we need to have this statement static URL is equal to static. So let's go into the PyCharm project. We had already created this project in the previous session. So I will, I want to go and uh, check this settings.py into the my Django project, my Django site. And I need to identify where this statement is already written or not. So in my case, it is already written. And if it is not written, then you are supposed to copy and paste this statement into settings.py. So this is the step number one. Let's talk about step number two. In step number two, we need to configure urls.py in my app. Remember, we had two urls.py in our project, one in the Django project. So this is the main urls.py and one is inside our my app. So this is urls.py which is in my app. So we need to open this urls.py inside my app folder and we need to use this uh, importation code. So let me add this importation code which is from django.contrib.staticfiles.urls we are importing static files URL patterns. So currently this URL pattern is not defined. So let's define this URL pattern just after the definition of the URL patterns. So after this URL patterns, we will be adding the code URL patterns plus is equal to static files underscore URL patterns. So this is the step number two. Now let's go to the next step. Now we need to create a static folder inside my app. Just similar, we had created the templates folder inside my app. We need to create static folder inside my app. So uh, for that, I will right click on this my app. I'll go to the new and I'll create a new directory. Here I'll write static. So you can see the static directory is created. Let's talk about the next step. Inside this static directory, we need to create another directory named images. So let's go and right click on this static folder, go to the new and create one more directory with name images. So you can see this is images. Let's talk about the next step. Inside this images folder, we need to add our image, the image we want to display on the web page. So let me randomly copy one image and paste that image inside this images folder. So let me take uh, one image from my documents folder. So from my documents folder, let me see. Okay, I can take this stone image. So I need to see the extension, it's PNG. So I'll copy this stone inside this images folder. For that, I need to copy the path. Okay, let me copy the path of this and open it in the explorer so i'll paste the path here so this is the path of the images folder i'll hit enter so i need to copy 
the image stone.png here inside this images folder. So I have copied this inside my app start tech and images folder. Now let me go back to the pie chart and you can see that this stone.png is added into the project folder. Now let's go to the next step. Next step is to load the image in the template wherever we want to have the image. Let us say if I want to import the image or use the image inside the index.html template. So I'll go inside the index.html template and first I'll use this uh, load static. So I'll go and put this load static. And then I'll use image tab to load the static image. So for that, I'll use image tab and I'll specify the source of the image. So this is the image tab inside the source attribute I will be using. So I'll need to give the path after the static in single quotes. So I'll write images slash and the name of my image is stone.png. So uh, I have used two statements here. One is load static and then inside the image tab I have used source attribute and inside the source attribute this static and then a space and then the URL of the image. So the URL of the image is images stone.png. You can see this is inside the static folder. We have already loaded the static folder. So now the URL images and then stone.png. So now we need to run this just to execute this. We need to go to the terminal and uh, inside the terminal we need to check whether we are inside the Django project. Yes, we are inside the Django project. So we will use python manage.py run server. So this is the command we use to execute the server. We'll hit enter and this is the server is running. So I'll click this server URL. And you can see this is stone.png is visible here on the web page. This is how we can use images on the web page. Let us say if you want to have the background, so uh, if I want to have this on my background, so I'll go to the body section, I will use background is equal to and then inside this, I will specify, I can add more images and I can change the image URL layer. So this is the background so we need to specify this inside the background and now uh, let me run the server again so I'll run the server I'll click on this server URL and you can see so this image is now on the background as well although it is repeated so we can fix this with the uh, CSS. We will do it later in the upcoming lessons when we learn CSS. So in this lesson, we learned how to use static images into the Django website.